Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a special Halo video. Now, today's video is a massive news that I want to share with you guys. Basically, Microsoft announced that you know, Halo is going to Unreal Engine and they've also changed the uh, name. They basically rebranded it, went with the name called Halo Studio. You know, I was, I was just looking at this, the Halo cinematics. It looks, it does look amazing. You know, uh, like I'm not too uh, surprised that it, would, that it would look like this because I've seen various, you know, projects Halo fans have been working on, like, you know, for example, like Branch and Sickness. Which looks, uh, which looks amazing. Uh, so I was looking at this and I was like, wow, this looks, uh, you know, really amazing. Graphics and vision. I don't want to get my hopes, you know, too high because, you know, we've been here before, you know, a lot of times. You know, I remember in 2018 when we first time saw the Halo Infinite trailer, it looked amazing, right? Like we saw, saw that, you know, we're on a Halo ring, and then we also saw the fact that the ball back the Master Chief armor and. You know, there's wildlife, there's you know beam structures, you know, falling structures. And obviously when the infinite came out, there was none of that in the actual game. Now what we're seeing here is almost like that. It's almost the base the same thing with what we're seeing. You know, we're seeing right now, we're seeing the flood, you know, biomes and we're seeing snow. We're seeing, um, you know, a lot of greenery, like, you know, we're seeing a lot of different biomes, but I, I just feel like most of this might not come in the game. This is just showing that Halo being on a real engine, yeah, it looks so beautiful. I think that's what they're promoting. They, they want to promote the graphics. They want to promote the visuals, and I, and I don't like that. I want to see gameplay. I want to see what features that they're going to be adding. A lot of people seem to be so excited for it, but what worries me personally, this might be a Halo C remake. This might be a Halo reboot, but they're not saying it. They they might you know uh, feel like the community is gonna you know it's gonna have like a massive uh, meltdown, you know, breakdown, you know. And uh, I just feel like this isn't really good news, you know. I mean, it looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. We've seen the Master Chief armor, you know. The Mark V looks amazing. Uh, like, like I say, visually and, and the way it looks, it looks appealing. I do admit that it looks amazing. But we haven't seen, we haven't seen, we haven't seen gameplay. We haven't seen what features they're gonna be adding. That's what I'm, what I'm really concerned about. I was hoping for, you know, 343, uh, not 343. They're called Halo Studios. Halo Studios, right? <laughs> I was hoping Halo Studios will be putting Halo Infinite into the Unreal Engine and then uh, remove the free to free to play models and make everything unlockable, you know, by leveling up or something, right? I thought they were going to do that, you know, they should have done that instead, you know, bring Halo Infinite to the Unreal Engine because I heard that the Slip Space Engine was, was heavily broken and they can't, you know, really fix the game. It just had a lot of like difficulties, you know, working around with the engine. They could have at least um, brought Infinite to Unreal Engine 5. Because look, Halo Infinite had, it's got amazing gameplay. I actually really love Halo Infinite's gameplay. I really love the features that, they, you know, that they've that they added in that game. But two things that killed it, Halo Infinite, listen, listen very carefully. What really killed Infinite was lack of content at launch. And second, the game just didn't work properly. And that's what killed the game. It wasn't because the game had a bad art style or it had, you know, bad gameplay and, the features are, are really crap. No, it wasn't. It's nothing got to do with that. It's just the game had lack of content, and the game just didn't work properly. You know, you know, desync, right? Like that was a massive issue, and you know, it had a lot of slower loading times, and you know, the game the games just kept kicking us out. You know, some of those issues still exist. I mean, I won't say it's not that bad, you know, compared to before, but they do they do still exist. And this is my main concern. Like they might actually do a full reboot. Like we might end up getting a Halo Two remaster. They might end up, you know, screwing up the law. You know, they might end up screwing up, you know, with Halo 3. Like, we have got a Halo 3 anniversary, but guys, we've got to be careful what we wish for. We don't know, we don't know in the next, I don't know, the next uh, 10 years, we might get Halo 3 anniversary, finally, but then they might end up screwing that up, you know? Uh, and look, I know, the, I know, obviously, Halo Studio has, um, you know, new leadership and new developers, but we don't know about these devs either. Like, we don't know if they're actually passionate about Halo or, uh, or you know, uh, we don't know, like, uh, you know what they're gonna be like you know with this franchise you know and i feel like 343 uh, at the time they were hiring developers that were experienced with a real engine they're not hiring developers that are experienced with halo there's a difference right so you can bring anyone from other uh, uh, the, you know game developers like fortnite or you know apex you know whatever, whatever the games are were running on unreal engine like pubg right like whatever you can bring those developers and they i look they'll probably do a good job you know with the making the game on Unreal Engine, but they might end up messing something up, like, like in terms of, like, you know, what Halo really needs, you know? And they might be experimenting with Unreal Engine. Just because they're experimenting with Unreal, Unreal Engine, it doesn't mean they could make a solid a solid Halo game, right? It doesn't mean that. They're just, like, they're just very, very experienced with Unreal Engine. They're not experienced, like, what made Halo special. That's my point. So, and that's what really concerns me. Like, they're just hiring developers that are experienced with Unreal Engine, but not Halo. And that's my main concern. And and look, what we see here, it looks amazing. I do admit, it looks very Halo-y. It looks, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. But I'm not falling for this hype again, <laughs> okay? This hype. And I'm, I just want to be careful this time. I'm really happy they kept the, uh, the art style the same. 
you know, like from Infinite. Because I personally think Infinite had the best art style, in my opinion. But again, we haven't seen gameplay. And we don't know how much gameplay they, they probably would have done. Like, they could have downgraded the, the, the gameplay. They could have gone back to, I don't know, maybe gone back to Halo 5 or something. We don't know. Like, I really hope they kept the same gameplay from Halo Infinite and the same futures. This might be the last shot for Halo. I don't know how far they could go over this. And, uh... It just, it's just been too long guys, you know, waiting for a solid Halo game and uh, we'll see what happens in the future. You know, we still need to see the multiplayer, we still need to see, see the campaign. I feel like this is a reboot and honestly I'm not excited for a reboot, I'm not excited for a remaster. I just want, I just want Halo Infinite to continue, I'll be honest. Halo Infinite had the perfect founda foundation to be built upon. I understand, you know, a lot of players weren't playing, you know, because on Steam shots have shown like 3,000 players were playing and you know, maybe on x there was like 5,000. Yeah, still a very low number, right, for a free-to-play game. But what they should have done, they should have brought Infinite to Unreal Engine 5 and then continue making updates. And we could have had so much, you know, stuff in the works. Like, we could have had a campaign DLC. We could have had, you know, um, we could have had, like, Project Tatanka in the works and, you know, so many. Like, we could have had uh, uh, more weapons coming in, new vehicles, you know. But no, like, everyone wants, uh, everyone wants, like, Infinite to be, uh, I don't know, like, uh, they want developers, uh, you know, to stop working on Infinite and just work on uh, the next Halo game. And that's going to take long. And we don't know if the next Halo game is going to live up to the hype. And we don't know if it's going to be a damn great, you know, or they're going to keep the same uh, uh, gameplay mechanics. But yeah, guys, that's all I want to say. I just, I'm not really too, too hyped up for this. It does look amazing. Don't get me wrong. It does look amazing. But guys, we've been fooled like this and... In, you know in, in the 2018 i understand it says work in progress content rendered in unreal engine 5 but wasn't that not said, i think that was said the same thing in the 2018 trailer when infinite was first uh, when, when it was first time announced you know it was exactly the same thing and here we're just seeing like yeah we're seeing beautiful biomes we've seen the beam structures the master chief salmon but it's not enough we still need to see gameplay and guys don't get hyped up don't jump on the hype train you can be excited but don't be hyped up when i say it don't, don't be hyped up don't go around saying oh we back Halo's, we, you know, like, whatever, like, we back Halo, yeah, you know, uh, Halo, is, Halo has returned, the King has returned. We have not seen nothing yet. This is just, like, this is just, you know, cutscenes we're seeing. Anyone can make this, dude. I've seen uh, uh, Halo fans making this in Unreal Engine. Like, you see, in fact, even with Branch and Sickness, they've done, like, they were showing cutscenes as well, but at least they were showing gameplay, and the gameplay in that looks pretty amazing. Guys, let me know down in the comments below, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think uh, they might pull it off? They might, they might not pull it off? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to follow me on Twitch. I do stream a lot of Halo on there, so go ahead and, and please follow me on Twitch, and, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.